One thing that has not changed is our resolve to do the work of the people of the state of New Hampshire. The commitment to serve, arguably the only constant during this historic Senate session. Lawmakers address the room from their seats, equipped with mics and iPads, speaking behind masks and face shields. 20 omnibus bills on the agenda covering issues like reproductive rights, death benefits for public works employees, and minimum wage. To address these inequities and reestablish New Hampshire's economic competitiveness, as amended, this bill would raise the minimum wage to $10 an hour by January 1, 2021. This session live streamed, as were committee meeting hearings, in an effort at transparency during the stay at home order. What is passed here goes back to the House for an up or down vote. The Senate found bipartisan harmony on the cost of insulin. This bill that we're voting on, the most progressive price cap on insulin in the nation. About 130,000 people in New Hampshire have um, diabetes and that is about one in 10 people. And I think, you know, for the Senate president, for myself, it really got our attention as to um, why we had to get to yes. Another first here at the State House, air conditioning, and only a select few were inside to enjoy it. In Concord, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.